So I just realized that after 20 minutes of filming, my mic wasn't on and I... It's gonna have to be a voiceover, people. Hello guys, welcome back to Making It Up. I'm Isa, and today I have a really fun fall video for you guys. I wanted to create something that was very simple, but it was still glam because, you know, most of the time I do more of a minimal makeup look, but if I have something uh, to do maybe at night or like a party or whatever, I don't, I don't go to parties, but anyways, you can wear this look to parties and stuff because it's really fall and yeah, I just created this look that you see on my eyes right now. It is fairly simple, it's all matte, so if you're someone who's not into like super glittery and glitzy, you know, glam looks, and this is perfect for you because it's still glam, but it's more sophisticated and it's really, really nice. If you're into like what you're seeing right now and if you are looking for a new glam fall makeup look that you can wear to like holiday parties and Thanksgiving and stuff then this is the look for you make sure to keep watching and don't forget to subscribe so uh, I forgot to turn on my mic for the whole eye section of this video so we're gonna have to put up with me doing a voiceover okay and this is me explaining to you guys what I'm doing Anyways, um, I'm trying something new on my channel where I only work from one of my eyes So I'm gonna start off with my eyes already primed and I'm gonna go in with Axis and use it as my transition color And then I'm moving on to agent and I'm applying it below Axis But still a little bit above the crease so that both of them mix and they make the perfect transition color For the crease color, I'm using Smooth Criminal and I'm applying it with a small blending brush. I'm making sure to blend it up to the other colors and I'm making also making sure, what, what did I just say? I'm also making sure to apply it across my whole eye. And now to deepen up the crease, I'm using Prowl on the outer corner and I'm blending it up to the crease just a little bit. And for this, I'm using another tiny brush, even tinier than the one I used before. And for my lower lash line, I'm also using a mix of Smooth Criminal and Prowl. And I'm applying Smooth Criminal all across the lower lash line. I'm only going in halfway to my lid, well, lower lash line, with Prowl. And it is time for the lid. I'm using my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer and a tiny brush. And I'm just going to be cutting my crease only halfway because I'm not talented enough to do a full cut crease. Um, so yeah, to set the concealer, I'm going to go back into Axis, which is the yellow shade. And I'm just going to pack it on and then I'm going to blend it in with Prowl. After I've blended everything as best as I can, I'm going in with a clean blending brush and I'm blending away the edges of the shadow to make it look as perfect as I possibly can. Now moving on to the waterline, I'm going to be applying my old and very well loved Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Eyeliner in 2L to tie the look together. And last but not least, I'm applying a generous amount of the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara to my lashes. As always, you can apply falsies if you feel like that's going to make this look more intense. I just applied a ton of mascara and called it a day. And here we have the finished eye look, my friends. And now we can move on to uh, the face. Uh -huh. Okay, so now that I'm back to talking, it's time to move on to complexion. Uh, it's pretty simple. I've already done my base. Everything is done. I just need to add my bronzer, my blush, and my highlight, and we are going to do that right now if I can find my brushes. I would love that. First off, I'm going to start off with my bronzer. I'm using the Milk Makeup Baked Bronzer. You guys know I love this bronzer, so we're going to do that right now. I'm going to grab a little bit on this Real Techniques Stipple Brush. I think that's the name of it. I, I can't see it, so hopefully that is the name of it. And I'm just going to apply this to the high points of my face. Okay, now that our bronzer is on, it's time for a little blush and highlight. For highlight, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in 250. Nikki Tutorials collab over here. Uh, it's beautiful and it's really intense, so we're just going to grab a little bit of this and put it on our cheekbones. 
And I'm just going to apply a little bit of that highlighter to the inner corners. So now it's time for blush and I'm using my Flower Beauty, what's the name of this? Peach Primrose Flower Pot, Flower Pot Powder Brush, Blush, Blah. I'm using this. And I'm using a MAC stipple brush for this and I'm just going to use a little bit of this because I don't want much blush, I just want a little something. I'm going to be using my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist to set my face. Okay, so now that our face is complete, the only thing that's left to do is the lips. And I'm using my Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle Lipstick in single nude. I love it. I love this formula. I love this lipstick. You guys know. So let's just apply it and let's be done. And after the lips, then the look is complete, guys. Let's just zoom you in and see what the hell is up. Okay, so here you have it. The skin is really natural. I mean, I do a foundation because I have a lot of breakouts currently, and I don't want everyone to see them. But yeah, cheeks are very easy. Uh, I didn't pile it on a lot because I wanted the main focus to be on the eyes. The eyes are all matte. I really love the shades. The palette isn't my favorite, uh, the colors are blending a little bit weird, but in the end I really like how it turned out and this is just something that I would do whenever I need to be glam, you know. So yeah, this is uh, what it looks like. Anyways you guys, that is it for today's look. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did by giving this video a thumbs up. It gives me a lot of feedback on what you guys want to see and what you don't. And if you have any other recommendations of, or and if you have any other recommendations or video ideas that you guys want me to film, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with everybody that you know if you feel like it, obviously. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Uh, the link, not the link is down below, but the username is gonna be right here. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm such a mess today, guys. I'm sorry. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this look, and I will most definitely see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.